Hi there, Chris from Learning Every Day. I'm coming to you again from my home office here. Again, it's about 11 o'clock at night and I've just done my little journal that I shared with you in the last video. And I thought that I would just share another tip with you in this video as well. Now, you may be like me in that you hate email. Now, email is just something that I cannot, I just can't stand it. So I recently, well, in the last six months, maybe a little bit longer than I actually, moved over everything over to Gmail. So I took um, all my emails where they were normally being hosted in the server and changed it all over to Google Mail and I signed up for business apps. So I've got my own white labeled um, Google now. So it's got my business logo and everything in it. And it's really, really great. It's got, because there's tons of like um, little apps you can use and uh, plugins that you can put into Gmail to help you with your email. Um, a bunch of other things as well um, that I'd like to share with you. But the big one, big thing I want to share with you today is something called inbox pause okay and you need to have gmail you need to be using google mail to actually take advantage of this and i think it works best in chrome as well so if you've not already checked out gmail as a sort of uh, an email client or host for your emails you should definitely check it out it's really easy to set up and it costs about three pounds per user per month um, and that's at the moment so right now it's september 2014 um, it's really cheap and you get tons of space and it's really, really flexible. I love it. It works on all platforms and just really, really enjoying using Gmail. But inbox pause has kind of really changed the way that I deal with emails. So, for example, one thing that really used to frustrate me, and I'm sure it frustrates you as well, is you can sit in your inbox for a long time replying to emails. And what happens is as soon as you send an email, you're guaranteed to get a reply. All right. And whatever hap keeps happening is your the top of your inbox just keeps getting new emails on it all the time. So it keeps stacking up and up and up. And all you're doing is getting distracted by all those emails at the top. But what inbox pause allows you to do is actually pause any incoming emails. Okay, so you can actually just click pause and it stops them. But you can set up as like times. So for example, I've got four times set up on mine. So when I click pause, it um, brings in emails. It's not send and receive, it's just receive. So it receives emails at half past eight in the morning, half past 12, half past four and half past eight at night. So four times a day. And it just chucks them all into my inbox at those times. But, you know, Gmail is clever. It stores them away somewhere. And um, you can unpause at any time. But the great thing I like about it as well is that I can click pause on, like, say, my MacBook sitting behind me. That pauses my emails everywhere. So say, for example, I pause it on my MacBook and then I'm out and about and I want to check my emails. None of them will come through. So I'm not getting distracted by emails just like coming onto my mobile or something like that. You know, you get a notification, it doesn't go ping, and I, you know, all the time I'm not getting emails. So I can't even check them if I wanted to. I'd have to come back to the MacBook and click unpause if I wanted to do that or whatever um, system I've used to, to pause them. You can't unpause them from your mobile. Now it stops you getting those distractions because email is a big distraction, especially for me. But the other great thing about it as well is that if I did want to go into my inbox, say for example, I like to filter email in the morning. So I'll, I'll chuck a podcast on and I'll get stuck in about my email before I do any of my own content creation, which usually takes place between eight and nine. I will sit and filter emails. Now, knowing that no new emails are going to come in whilst I'm filtering them is great because I'm not going to get distracted by brand new emails coming in. I've got that time, that peace and quiet in my inbox to actually get some other emails done. Email is just such a burden for me, I find, and I'm really quite lackadaisical about it. Um, I tend not to reply quickly, which I really need to get better at. An inbox pause is one way to help me do that. So just pause my emails coming in. Now, sometimes you need to keep your inbox open. I know that some emails are coming in and they can, they can be more urgent. So it just depends. But if I'm having a really busy day, I will stick on to pause so I can get on with other work without distraction. So check out inbox pause. I'll put a link to it. In below the video in the blog article and definitely check out Gmail because there's tons of other apps you can use as well that um, help you with your email and just help you to be much more efficient and productive because like we say like we all know email can be a real time stealer for us and a real procrastination um, a real procrastination problem for us all as well so um, and you know, have a look at it, enjoy it, and um, try, well, as much as you can. You know, I'm just trying to enjoy email as much as I can, as much as I hate it. Um, and the other thing, actually, another little tip, actually, is that Google is great because it's got instant messaging built into it as well. So instead of email and back and forth, I'm starting to use instant messaging a lot more over the past six months. I think it's much more effective. 
and it keeps your inbox clutter free as well. So yep, yeah, definitely check out Gmail, absolute advocate of it. Um, and if you aren't using it already, definitely, definitely give it a look, good looking. Until next time, don't forget to be awesome.